Yes. Watch. Nope. Yeah, keep watching, but don't move. Nope. Nope. Yes. Cowgirl's such a little performer. And she's a full blood uh, Belgian Malinois. If you haven't seen a Belgian Malinois that looks like this, she's out of a breeder in Tennessee. And usually her siblings that are a little bit bigger than her go into military service. So all in Florida, you see a lot of our police force with dogs like this because you can tell they're always happy and a lot of fun to be around and have high energy. And with lots of activity in Florida, we also have lots of heat. So these dogs are very stable in heat, although you'll hear me say over and over again, I'm very careful about, I'm not taking them out on the sidewalks in the heat of the day, because no matter what kind of dog you have, their paws are really sensitive to the heat. So yes, of course you wanna walk your dog for your own health, your own well-being, and get out and walk. But if your dog is with you, do it early in the day or late in the evening so that you don't risk giving your dog um, Oh, an, an overabundance of heat because it'll come through their paws and you may not understand why your dog is just lagging along where they're having, I believe, somewhat of a mini stroke. And that's not anything you wanna do for your pet. You want them to be with you long and strong. And you'll see with everything that I'm looking to provide for you with virtual training is insight and understanding of that yes mark and having that dog being bonded with you and having them pay attention to you and using this time with your dog where it's not about the food, it's about you and your dog and bonding. And each different time I'm training with the dog, the more advanced they are, the more I'm gonna throw at them. And I'm trying to keep it basic for you so that if you're just tuning in and you're saying, Sandra, what, what can I teach my dog? They run back and forth in the yard all day long. Well, that energy they expend in listening to you and doing these simple things where on recall you call them like we were with Chance or I'm telling her what to do when I told her down and I gave her a yes she jumped right back up because I didn't say down and stay. So you're going to see a lot of me showing you and then telling you what I just did so that you see the dog in action you saw her come right back up because I said down yes and then she came right back up <laughs> when they're you, you know, when you have them at that point you ha and you want them to stay down, you have to say the word stay as well. Or if, you, if they're standing and you want them to stay, that means they stay in that position that they were just in that you told them to be. Which, as we're walking around, I'm not giving her commands when we're out presenting. She's paying attention to what I'm doing. She's already taught that if I... If I've told her to be in the middle of the room while I'm speaking, you're gonna stay in the middle of the room. And if you um, click on some more of our training, you'll see where I have them on PLAC on a place. And it's not about doing what I told them to do and then feeding them right away. It's the job at hand. And dogs wanna please you. That's why it is 100% effective with these service dogs. The dog, just how they exist here on earth, they wanna please you. It's fun to train other animals, but those other animals don't live to please you, the dogs do. And that's where you're gonna see video after video, whatever dog we're working with, we've matched it up with the recipient and their family. It's not a family dog, but it is with the family for their entire life to the dog's last breathing moment, they are serving you. And with PTSD, they know how to 
help the recipient and get through their day if they're at work or if they're volunteering. So let's see if we can, if we have time to bring out Allie, I'll be right back. Have a come. the superstar. You're the beginning superstar, aren't you, Allie? Allie, sit. Yes. Down. Yes. Sit. 